Hey, what's going on, people? It's SGZ here from the Spartan Game Zone, and in this video, I'll be showcasing a legendary weapon that should be among the best in the game, but falls well, well short of that mark. In fact, it sucks. And for all that build up to actually obtain one, it really should feel completely the opposite to how it does. I'll be letting you know what that gun is and how you can reminisce over what could have been. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate it if you could drop a like, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already, or you could even follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to let me know in the comments what your most disappointing legendary weapon in all of Borderlands 3 is, and let's crack into it. So in a game with so many legendaries, you can't expect them all to be amazing. There are some legendary weapons that you don't expect to be great, like a pistol that shoots bouncing orbs, or a sniper rifle with a literal 2 in the damage column, which is not surprisingly the worst gun in the game, regardless of rarity. However, there's other weapons that you pick up and you're like, damn Stan, this gun is gonna rock harder than smoked ham, and when they don't, you're sat there with nothing to fill your sandwich. Probably the most disappointing legendary weapon of them all is the Quatomizer, a Torg rocket launcher which, at launch, could only be obtained by defeating the Rampager, who you fight around here in the Forgotten Basilica. I remember when I first fought the Rampager, this massive creature that evolves multiple times during the fight, jumping around the arena, smashing stuff, spitting more and more flames in different elements as you edge closer to victory. The fight is epic and a grand introduction to the vault bosses within Borderlands 3, but the unique reward is far from that. Now what is cool about this gun is how it mimics the boss fight, like the Rampager transforms during the fight, so does the Quatomizer, rotating through elements each time you fire. Not only that, but it fires the same exact projectiles that the Rampager spits at you during the fight, like the actual same assets. The thing is though, it doesn't even drop from the Rampager anymore, the boss that may as well have given birth to it. Instead dropping from Dragon Rage alongside the Mother of Grogans, you fight around here in the Anvil. I mean that speaks to how much this gun was thrown aside, what should be a top launcher never got a glimpse of its full potential. There's no other weapon that represents a boss better than this one, and that should be the building box for a truly great gun but it isn't even close. It doesn't just shoot the one rocket either, but a line of four of them, which looking at it, should deal some insane damage. I mean, it's a rocket launcher that breathes fire, but alas, it's actually incredibly bad. It consumes two ammo per shot and fires incredibly slowly, heck, it might even be the slowest firing weapon in the game. That's not the worst part though, for all the visual effects, it deals almost no damage. Even on Moe's it was a struggle, and when Moe's can't make an explosive weapon work, then you know you're in trouble. Looking at other top end launches like the Backburner, the Quatomizer is like the less attractive, less successful Hemsworth. Rocket launches by their nature should be slow but damaging. The Backburner does both, but the Quatomizer gets halfway there, but completely ignores the most important part. The Unkempt Herald, a simple pistol, is better than it in every aspect. I mean, it even has higher single shot damage, is able to one shot bosses, and for that the Quatomizer should be ashamed. It makes you think why guns are good and others aren't at all, but that's a topic for another day. Point is, the Quatomizer is really bad, but has the highest right not to be. So that's all for this video, I hope you enjoyed it and learned of a legendary weapon that should feel a lot better than it does. If you did, consider dropping a like or subscribing and I'll catch you in the next one.